This is a 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine that's been laying around my shop for a few years now. And I'd like to see if it runs, but as you can see there's no carburetor and therefore no way to deliver fuel into the engine. I do have a propane cylinder with propane in it and I heard somewhere that propane is flammable. So I'm going to try to make this engine run on propane. I have a propane pipe hooked up to the cylinder and as I turn on the valve propane comes out. I'm thinking I'll just put the pipe right next to the intake valve opening and then adjust the valve to the point that it achieves the correct mixture for the engine to run. I'm not just going to leave this wide open however because that would mean that if I did get it to run it would be running at the equivalent of wide open throttle ungoverned and I don't want to do that because it'd be really loud and the engine would probably um, shake real bad. It'd be going probably 4,000 RPM, which is pretty fast for these engines. So what I'm going to do is make a uh, highly engineered throttle plate to put there. Here's my throttle plate. It was, of course, specifically manufactured for this application. I'll just put this screw in here. And this will restrict the airflow enough that when it runs, it will lope along at a nice steady pace rather than just going crazy and causing a lot of havoc. So I'll tighten this screw down and close off the throttle opening quite a bit. And of course, if I want to adjust it, I can too. That's the beauty of this mechanism. So we'll shut it down to about right there. Next I'll just move my propane cylinder over here. And I want this pipe to be pointing right toward the opening in the head. Right there looks good. So to secure that, I have some baling wire. So now I'll just tie this up really nicely. Perfect. So there's my propane carburetor fully installed. So now I just need to open the valve and start pulling on the pull cord until something happens. If it seems like it's running too rich, I'll shut down the valve. Alternatively, if it's running too lean, I'll just open up the valve to make the mixture correct. I'm going to open this valve just enough that I can hear the gas start to flow. And I'll give it a pull.
Well, now I know the engine runs, and even more importantly, that it will run on propane. Does this mean I'm going to invest in a carburetor and gas tank? No. The engine will probably just spend another 10 years under my workbench. Thanks for watching.